forward to that and this after the game Sunday night. Chris Berman will be live from the field with Steve Young and Randy Moss with all the highlights and post-game interviews on NFL Primetime. You can also see it streaming live on the ESPN app. Now, we sang the praises of the Patriots offense earlier, but check this out. The Eagles ran the ball better, threw more touchdowns, and were better on both third down and in the red zone than the Patriots this season. Well, much of that success belongs to Carson Wentz. Nick Foles has actually still had a better completion percentage than Tom Brady since he took over in week 15. The intensity is going to be high. The energy level is going to be high. You know, and, and, and we got to match that. Once you just start playing, the game just comes back and it slows down and you're just in tune and uh, you don't really see the environment around you. Um, and it's probably hard to understand unless you've been there, but if you can get into that frame of mind, it's a, it's a beautiful place to be. I mean, I think the city of Philadelphia is kind of the true underdog city. Um, it's a blue collar town. Uh, they've never been given anything. Okay. Oh, I love ice cream. I mean, can't you tell? Can't you tell? This year is the Chinese year of the dog, so um, maybe uh, destiny is in our favor. We expect a lot about ourselves. We want to be, you know, in history and, and cement our own legacy. It's it's a chess match. I mean, that's that's what these games every every weekend is about. Fly, you just fly. I mean, hey, you can't come to Philly and try to disrespect us uh, doing a uh, chant on, on the rocket stuff. Just ruling hours and. You know, you just enjoy it because you know the journey, you know the people you do it with. If I were if I were a tree, what tree would I be? I told him, Douglas Fir. Make sure that we're prepared for this game because, you know, unlike unlike a, a World Series or, or you know, NBA Finals, you only get one chance. You know, at the end of the day, it's just football. I've been doing this my whole life. We appreciate being on the toss. We appreciate the disrespect. But we just going to keep on balling and playing football. That's all that matters, man. Can you imagine how big the ice cream party will be for Doug <laughs> Peterson be a great and the ice Eagles cream party if they, they win? win it. Wow. You know, so we know that Peterson has such a strong belief in Nick Foles, and that's made such the difference. So, Teddy, as we take a look at Foles via the next-gen stats powered by the AWS cloud, what stands out to you? Susie, Nick Foles isn't the only one that can get, I mean, Tom Brady isn't the only one that can get the ball quick. Now, Nick Foles does a great job of it here, whether it's off of play action or the run pass options, it keeps the defense Part of the last off, team to go balance back. here. If he gets you moving, especially if he's in zone coverage like this, you play off and they're going to find some way. It's almost a little extension of the run game. You see that separation. You have to make an open field tackle against very good run after the catch receivers. And if you try to get on them and you try to bring pressure, then they'll run little tear screens just like this. Nick Foles getting the ball out quick, putting the ball into his playmaker's hands, catch and run type of elements, very similar to an Andy Reid coach team, that West Coast type of principles. Nick Foles will get that ball out quick, and the New England Patriot defenders are going to have to tackle these receivers yep, in space. Absolutely. All right, so Foles and company face a Patriots defense that since week five has only given up 14 points per game, best in the NFL. As we talked about earlier in the show, that was so huge because they started slow. They had some issues with communication because of Absolutely. all these new players, including Stefan Gilmore. So how far has he come? I mean, I mean, Susan, you hit everything right on the head. Stefan Gilmore has come a long way. In the offseason, he was signed to a 60-plus million dollar deal. But early on in the season, it didn't work out well. They had communication issues. Here you see there's a bunch formation. Stefan Gilmore is the outside guy in the top, in the top of the combination coverage. He should be waiting outside for the outside receiver to declare, but he doesn't. Here you see, he double teams a guy who isn't his, and Kelvin Benjamin is wide open. Stephon Gilmore got hurt, comes back in week nine against the Denver Broncos, and ever since then, he has been stout in defense. Here you see a great jam on the receiver, and it causes an interception. That was where the quarterback wanted to go early. He couldn't get to him. And here is the play of the year defensively, for the New England Patriots, you have a crossing route, a route that's very hard to cover yep. Cover from the slot. The quarterback leads him across the field. Stephon Gilmore makes the huge play. They brought him over here because of his talent, because of the first-round pedigree that he was coming out of South Carolina. But we didn't see that early on in the season. But down the stretch, we have. And that's a big reason why they've been playing better as a defense. They're going to have to face a really versatile offense 
These eagles can do a lot of so things. So much personal groupings, yeah. motions, shifts, everything. Yeah. Okay, it's time for bold predictions, and the Patriots' defense leads the way. So the last time the New England Patriots played the Philadelphia Eagles, there was a safety by the name of Rodney Harrison that made a game-winning <laughs> interception. My bold prediction is this year there will be another game-sealing interception. It'll be made by Devin McCourty. History repeats itself. Devin McCourty will be the safety that makes the play for the New England Patriots. That's all the way wrong. Because <laughs> here's what's going to happen. The Patriots are going to be winning in the fourth quarter. And Nick Foles is going to lead a comeback as a backup quarterback. And the Philadelphia Eagles will win. But wait, though. I have another one. <laughs> this, will, this will signify the end of the Brady and Belichick era. They will never win another Super Bowl after this year. The Eagles will win, and Belichick and Brady won't win another. This is the end. They end on Fox. That's a mouthful right there. And I'm going to just, I'll take that one step farther because I'll say, enjoy it while you can because maybe just one more year together for Brady and Belichick. Mm. I think they, re they do come back, but... You know, we've heard little rumblings. There's a lot of going on things. in there. There's yes. a lot going right. on. There's been a lot of drama. So I say they're both back, but that's it. Just Well, I didn't win tape off, but I have you on my side, so I feel a lot better right now. Yeah. And again, <laughs> you know, there seems to be this love-hate relationship with the New England Patriots and Patriot fatigue. But come on. I mean, such sustained excellence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Of and Absolutely. just amazing to watch and witness that. We should all really be appreciating it. Okay, coming up on NFL Live, Rams quarterback Jared Goff joins the show to give us an inside look at his relationship with Sean McVay, among many other things. We talk all things Rams hey. with Jared. Jared, how you doing, man? How are you? What's up, brother? Good to see you. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, we've come this far.